Hey there, Scorpio. It's Keegan. I'm excited to be sitting down to do an actual reading for you guys. I hope that you've been doing well. I do just want to say this reading has no particular timestamp to it. When you see this and you feel like you need to watch it, then by all means watch it, whether that is a day from when I posted or two years from when I posted it. If you feel drawn to this particular video for any reason, please do watch. There's probably a message in here for you. I want to explain really quickly what I'm going to do. I've just shuffled this deck in front of you. I've pre-shuffled several decks off to the side here, but I do just want to let you see that I'm shuffling and turning the cards around. Um, I'm going to start with this Oracle deck. We'll pull one card out. That card will be what kicks off your reading. I'll use this deck to begin clarifying what comes out to get further information. And then as I mentioned, I have a couple of decks off to the side that I can utilize as well, just to go a little bit more deeply into the reading and get clarification as needed. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising signs. Any of those uh, work for you? If any of those are things that you are aware that you have in your natal chart, feel free to watch this video if you feel compelled to do so. The other thing that I want to say is that I am offering a special for the month of September on personal readings with me. Um, so that is going to be a two question reading will be $50 and a three question reading will be 75. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can email me keegantaro at gmail.com and let me know that you're interested and we can coordinate from there. Okay. I'm going to set this deck off to the side here. I'm going to give this two more shuffles and then we'll do a cut, pull a card out. We'll dive right into the breeding because I definitely feel attached to your energy. Okay. Now, before I flip this card over, I do just want to acknowledge I started to do this reading previously. I sat down and um, a, a very intensely a message came through and I could not clear the energy of that message. And so... Um, I do just want to acknowledge that message here at the beginning because I do feel like it was important. Um, the card that came out of this deck was a card that says um, hope is the conduit for miracles. And very clearly it felt like someone was dealing with a, likely a sister, but it could be just a sibling. But I did feel a sister um, who is battling an illness right now. And, and definitely people are trying to... Uh, rally and be hopeful around a positive outcome for that. Uh, I did also get, um, there was uh, the signs that were associated with that were Aries and Pisces. So I just want to acknowledge that as well. Um, so Aries, Pisces, sibling who is uh, not doing well right now dealing with an illness but the card that came through is that hope is a conduit for miracles and i just want to acknowledge that message here at the beginning uh, just for anyone that that might re resonate with so now starting into the general reading here because uh, i did some work to just clear the energy because i couldn't get away from from that it was very insistent so let's see what we have for our general reading here okay so this card says, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. So what we have here, Scorpio, is that um, you're in a place where you are working to move yourself out of the past. It's interesting because I can't tell yet energetically if this means moving on from someone uh, very often when this card comes out, I will just say before getting any other cards on the table, very often when this card comes out for me, uh, the person that you're seeing for the first time with the eyes of love, it tends to end up being yourself. Uh, when this when this card comes out from the Oracle deck for me, typically what it's representing is someone who's moving away, moving away from situation, moving away from a person and and realizing for the first time that it's necessary for them to love themselves, to, to see their value, to see their worth. OK, so typically that's what this means. But let's get a couple of cards down and see what we can get to clarify and give us a little bit more information around this. Tell me more about Scorpio, what they're dealing with specifically around the situation regarding the past. Yeah, so first card here that we have uh, that has revealed itself, you have the Three of Wands here coming out reversed. I want to just get a couple of more. Uh, Emperor coming out here reversed as well. Let's try to get one more, and then we can talk about this and see what we have. Uh, then we have the Five of Wands coming out here upright. I'm actually going to start here. 
with this card. Like I said, I wanted to get one more card just to be able to get some clarity on the energy that I'm feeling. So this shadow of the past, I feel like is represented most clearly with this five of wands energy. So the five of wands represents here there being a lot of conflict and disagreements that were happening and there's a lot of tension that i'm feeling uh in regards to this as well now with this emperor reversed um you know when the emperor is is reversed it represents someone who's who really is sort of a dominating controlling sort of energy um a very inflexible type of energy what i also pick up from this emperor card reversed here specific to the shadow of the past is something that feels very chaotic something that feels um <clears throat> this was scary this was a situation that was very scary for you i'm i'm feeling like i i, I felt my throat sort of like you almost close up when when i try to to sense what this is um also just it, very confusing very chaotic and confusing lots of of tension and control and, and disagreements and, and back and forth this three of wands reversed here this is interesting to me because um honestly what i'm getting from this is that there's some sort of a hold up in your ability to really move beyond this there's something that is is a hold up and and i'm thinking that this card is going to be what reveals that for us because this card has come out on its side and for me this represents a block okay so definitely this past situation was not something that was very pleasant and i do feel like you are starting to let go of it you're starting to to begin the process of it, but something is preventing you from doing that. There's a little bit of delay in your ability to just walk away from it. So let's see what this card is here. Uh, Three of Swords here coming out. Again, it's on its side. What I think is happening here, honestly, Scorpio, is that the thing that's keeping you from being able to really walk away from this is you aren't able to figure out how to deal with the pain and the the emotional aspects of of what's happened here uh that's where your blockage is so if the three of swords if it's upright it represents um you know the the pain and the sorrow the heartbreak that that you might feel when when something has not gone the way that you had wished for it to go when something has not turned out the way that you had hoped it would if it's reversed it's really about uh dealing with that learning how to figuring out how to release it dealing with the tendency that we might have to blame ourselves in situations or, or not really being able to sort out what is ours to own and what is the other person's to own and figuring out where to forgive ourselves and where to forgive the other person so what i'm feeling is you and it feels very much because this feels so chaotic it's like you're still in a place where you're just trying to sort through this you're trying to figure out um like i just i, I heard like i'm still trying to figure out like what even just happened like what actually happened here and so until you can get feel like you have some sort of a a grasp on that at least um you're not going to be in a situation where you can really begin to to heal or let things go right because you're still trying to figure out what what even was that what what happened i do feel i wouldn't be surprised scorpio i have to be honest with you this feels very much like some of the the earlier scorpio readings that i that i did um you know, if you followed my channel for a while, you know that uh, my Scorpio readings were very much sort of telling a story of, of of a certain group of people. And then I did a reading where it was like, OK, you're either going to make this choice or this choice. And and for a while, the Scorpio readings became very light and, and optimistic. Um, and I think that those Scorpios who were with me during that time have sort of evolved and and figured a lot of stuff out in terms of owning their own energy and figuring out how to um not necessarily control themselves but to understand themselves and because of that i've done a couple of of videos specific to scorpio just in terms of um the 
you know, the stages of a Scorpio's evolution. If you haven't seen that, I'll try to remember to put it up here for you guys uh, so you can watch that. But this feels very much like maybe a new group of Scorpios or maybe some Scorpios have found themselves repeating some of the patterns that they thought maybe they had overcome. Because this situation feels, it feels dense. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best word I can I can I can come up with for you guys because I wouldn't be shocked. I think this is what I was gonna say and I sort of sidetracked. I wouldn't be shocked if the magician reversed showed up here because this person feels very manipulative. The the other person feels very manipulative. Now keep in mind, you know, this is a general reading that I'm doing. So if you're a cross watcher, if you're not a Scorpio, or if you are a Scorpio but you're watching the specific for another person, the energies could very well be reversed. So this could be someone that you've dealt with. But this other person that I'm picking up on, this Emperor reversed, um, it, it does just feel very much like someone who was manipulating a situation. And what I'm also getting is that this person would n never admit they were wrong. They would never admit, even when they were caught in certain situations, even when like they were caught red-handed about something, totally inflexible, unwilling to, to admit to it, just no way. And that is what led to a lot of confusion on your part because it, it put you in a place where you started questioning even well, am I right about this? Because they're so insistent that this is not the way that things are, or this is not the way that things were. And so you even questioned your own, even when you had facts and you knew for sure. Um, that's what this this is, that delay that I was talking about and being able to, to move forward. Um, it is because it was, it, you're trying to like, un, it's like a ball of yarn and all these knots in it. And you're trying to go through and, and unravel, <laughs> like I'm seeing someone like trying to go through and unravel it and get to a, a knot and really trying to work and figure out what was that? Because it feels like you have to get that, that part of it figured out before you can move forward. It's like someone starting at the beginning of that relationship and they're going all the way through and they're at each point, they're trying to unravel it and see what was the truth of the situation. What was, what do I feel is true here? And once you get that figured out and you feel like for sure, this is the truth, then you're moving on until that next point where something went, went a little bit sideways and trying to figure out, okay, based on what I believe about this, what's the truth in this? So it's, it's really confusing and it's, it's complicated. It's dense and it's complicated. Um, I want to take a look here at this blockage first to see what, what might want to come out just in terms of some advice or guidance. And again, I did shuffle this deck before sitting down to film. The cards are feeling a little bit sticky though, so I'm going to shuffle a couple of times. I also just feel there's a lot of, of it's, it's fearful energy that's coming up here. And I do have to acknowledge for some of you who are Scorpios listening to me, you do have a lot of fear that you might have played a bigger role in everything that happened than you than you want to admit. And so for some of you, it is a situation in which I want to get one more card. It is a situation in which this, like I was saying, not knowing what's yours to own and not knowing what's the other person's and not knowing what to forgive and, and what's where you need to forgive yourself and where you need to try to forgive the other person. Very interesting, three of swords. Three of swords, three of swords, okay? So we know we're on track here. Now this three of swords has come out upright, okay? So let's talk about this. What has to happen first is you actually have to feel what you need to feel, Scorpio. You actually have to feel the pain, you have to feel the hurt, you actually have to allow yourself to feel that. And I think part of what's going on here and the reason for this blockage, I'm realizing this music does not really fit the mood. Um, but we're going to go with it. We're just going to roll with it, okay? Um, because I don't want you guys to be sad during this reading. I'm just going to say this, okay? Um, I get sometimes you listen to these readings and they're emotional and they and they upset you and it, and it's it's uh, feeling heard and feeling understood and feeling like someone understands the situation is emotional. But when you guys say a reading makes you cry, it just it really upsets me because I don't want you guys to come out of this reading feeling down. I want you to feel empowered, okay? So we're going to roll with this music because what you have to do first is feel it. I feel like a lot of you are, are holding back. You're holding back and you're, you're not allowing yourself to really feel the hurt and the disappointment and the pain and the anger. And there's so much that's there. And you feel like if you start to feel it, you're not going to be able to control it. And the truth of the matter is you need to just not try to control it. 
right? There's, there was a lot of stuff that happened here. There was a lot of stuff. And, and you have to allow yourself to really just let all that emotion come out. And it might be ugly, right? Like it might really hurt. It might be a lot to deal with, but Scorpios are tough and we're able to, to navigate that sort of emotional turmoil and that emotional pain. We, we know how much we can take and we know when we need to take a break from it. Okay, but what's happening here is there's just it's almost like a refusal to really even admit it and accept it, accept what happened, accept what has been lost. Okay, now we do have a card, a card that we haven't seen here. It's interesting because I want to just say one more thing about this. Um, Scorpio, you do not need to fully understand everything that happened. You don't need like that. The analogy that I gave earlier about trying to like unravel that ball and, and figure out all the truth and, and be like, well, until I know this, I can't go like that's not actually true here. And, and what I'm getting energetically is that, you know, ultimately, no matter what the truth was, no matter what all the like the detective work can come later. It is something that Scorpios need to do. We do need to go through and be a little bit like a detective and try to figure out everything. But the truth of the matter is, you know that this was not right. You know that this wasn't fair. You know that this was shady. You know that this person was manipulative. You know that there was lying. You know that there was um, like this. This feels almost like emotionally abusive to me. Um, so the end result here, the end result, Scorpio, is not necessarily, you know, you're not going to find anything in that detective work that's going to make you suddenly change your mind and be like, oh no, this, I just totally misunderstood them in the situation and they were, they were absolutely 100% above board. Like that's not going to happen here. And they want me to be very clear about that, that figuring all that stuff out is at, yes, it is something that you will have to do. It is something that you need to do, but that does not need to happen before you can allow yourself to really feel and face this and confront the truth of the situation. They wanted that acknowledged before turning this card over. Let's see what this card is. Queen of Wands here coming out upright. Um, now, I really like this, okay? So the the Queen of Wands is um, a very independent type of energy, a very confident, a very courageous, social uh, type of energy. This is the type of person that when they enter a room, all eyes are on them. They're a very uh, flirty, passionate sort of energy. This is something that Scorpios have within them right it's not necessarily an energy where scorpios like to stay for a long time because for scorpios it's very important that once that aspect of our personality is acknowledged once that flirty mysterious pay attention to me um, type of energy is acknowledged we want the person to come in and, and be able to engage us in some way engage us emotionally engage us intellectually be able to have conversation with us we want things to to go deep right? We don't like superficial, but superficial is really good. Superficial is actually really good right now, right? Because you have a lot of emotion that you need to sort through on your own. So you don't need to add in more emotion in terms of a new person or more emotions in terms of um, like a new relationship. So I feel like what this is saying is that the key to dealing with this block is just to feel what you need to feel and to also allow yourself to get back out there, to be um, engaged with people, to uh, just have fun, which, which feels like it might sound a bit, a bit trite. It might sound like it's, it's like, I get this, right? Where it's like, you obviously don't understand what I've gone through. If you think I can just go back out there and sort of be on the surface and flirt and have fun and, and just hang out with people. But that's actually exactly what you need. I personally have been in that situation where coming out of a, a relationship that was very intense as a relationship and ended very badly. The thing that I actually needed to do was to get back out there and to see that not every relationship is that intense. Not every relationship is that um, up and down and all over the place that sometimes you can just meet someone and enjoy their company and you can meet someone and just be attracted to them and you can meet someone and they're just funny and you like being around them right and having those those um, 
those those right now type of relationships is what allows you to start to heal and trust again and to feel like maybe you can actually start to think about that right relationships at some point down in the future but you aren't going to be able to get to that point scorpio until you've dealt with all of this and until you've also done this work of sort of like unraveling the truth of the situation so what's coming through here is very clear don't isolate yourself during that process don't try to shut everyone out and lock yourself in and and not have any sort of you know engagement with with other people while you're trying to do this work because part of what will allow you to heal is actually having these these moments of, of being social and and letting people be drawn in by you you don't have to actually let them in right like you can you can keep the admirers a little bit at bay but you need to have that validation because this shook you a lot scorpio i can tell this shook you in terms of like your worth and and questioning whether you questioning whether you can trust but also questioning just who you are like i keep getting that that vibe as well of you not really knowing how much of this you caused or how much of this you you like brought upon yourself and those are questions that you do need to ask and 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 figure out but having interactions and engagements with other people will allow you to remember who you are and to see that a lot of what maybe came out of you that that you might need to actually address but a lot of what you came what came out of you came out of you because it was pulled out of you by this other person okay so hopefully that makes sense i have another deck here i don't think i need to clarify anything else that's down on the table right now so i'm just going to see what wants to come out here give some of these cards a turn so i'm gonna do uh, three shuffles it's funny i feel the energy lifting uh and i will just want to acknowledge that I, I do feel like for the people who are still here with me who want to see where this goes your energy feels a lot lighter to me than than what was happening earlier in the reading so um that's good and and i definitely feel better uh i do just want to say here um i'm wearing a mood ring and so uh, i don't know i haven't been paying attention to it so i'm not sure if it's been changing colors um but i just i wanted to just say that because if want to go back and see what color this has been uh, feel free to do that okay what else wants to come out for scorpio the scorpios who are still with me listening to this reading what additional messages want to come out for them any additional insights or messages for scorpio uh, so we had a couple of cards that came out here we have three cards four cards so we have the moon coming out reversed uh, we have the Eight of Cups coming out upright. We have the Eight of Swords upright. And then the Knight of Swords coming out reverse. Very interesting. And I think this will actually allow us to sort of wrap this energy up. But I will go back in to this Oracle deck and pull one last card for you guys at the end. So I'm just going to set this right off to the side. So let's talk about these cards. I'm actually going to talk about them right in order, the way that they're spread out here, because I think that's how they want to be acknowledged. So the moon reverse, this is a really good card because this is exactly all of this that I was talking about. When the moon comes out reverse, it's about releasing. It's about letting go of things. It's about dealing with that uh, confusion that you might have on the inside and figuring out the best way to get over the fear that you might have, uh, really facing the fact that a lot of times the situations that we find ourselves in are, are caused by things that we've held on to for a long time and it's the universe trying to come in and just get us to let it go get us to acknowledge that it's an actual problem and release it so dealing with these emotions is absolutely the best thing that you can possibly do now the eight of cups here coming out upright again i'm happy with this card because this is really about pulling away okay um this is about, you know, I love the, the illustration for this card in particular, because if you look here, um, there are eight card, uh, eight cups, right? There are eight cups here, but you can tell there was a ninth cup and this person has taken that ninth cup and they're moving away, okay? They're leaving, they're walking away from this situation. Now the nine of cups represents um, the energy of, of wish fulfillment dreams coming true so this person has taken their dream come true back they've taken it 
with them. They've decided this is what I actually want and I'm going to move forward towards it. So I like that this card is coming out and I feel like that is what happens for you once you do deal with these emotions, once you do this work that's over here on this side of the reading. Now, um, Eight of Wands here, this is, this is a little bit, um, this is a little bit worrisome for me. I just want to acknowledge this Scorpio, especially with this Knight of Swords coming out here. Um, it's a loud card going by and let them go by. So this Knight of Swords is, is a little bit concerning to me with this. I do feel like whoever this person was, this Emperor, this Emperor reversed, I feel like that that Emperor reversed might try to come back in. Uh, you might not be done with them. It, so let me let me be clear what I'm saying here. Um, I feel like you should be done with this person, right? Like I feel like you should be done with the relationship. But this person might not be completely out of your life yet. And I do just feel like that might also be some of this delay that I was talking about earlier as well. That there was something that was just not allowing you to be completely done with this. I, again, going back to what I said at the very beginning, I don't think you're going to see this person through the eyes of love again and be like, oh no, this this person, I totally misread this whole thing. Uh, your gut is, is on track here, Scorpio. You were right about the situation, right about this person. Um, but I do feel like this person might try to come back in. And they might come back in with a little bit of, of uh, dishonest intent. Um, and it feels, um, it just feels honestly, Scorpio, I'm just going to be very blunt with you. It just feels like this person wants to just see. They don't want to just try. They just want to try to see if they can get you one more time. Right? Like that's what it feels like. But it, it feels like they might come in, um, they might come in at you from from a, a place where they know you have a soft spot or you they know that they have an opening so just be mindful of that okay because this person hasn't changed nothing nothing that has come out to make me feel like this person you're wrong about them or that this person was misunderstood or that this person has had any sort of growth or, or development okay so let's get a farewell oracle message for you scorpio i do just want to say this feels very heavy and i want to acknowledge that but I also think there's lots of room for growth here. There's lots of room for you to understand yourself and and really um, <sighs> there's a lot of room here for you to figure a lot out about yourself and to figure out some of your blind spots and to see some of the patterns that you've been repeating in life. And I think that this this particular situation has left you defeated enough that you'll be ready to actually deal with that and and, and face it and confront it. Okay, so let's do a cut here. This is your farewell message, Scorpio. Scorpios, it's been great hanging out with you guys. Like I said, I wish this was a little bit better, but I have to just be honest and, and tell you what I see when the cards come out. And, um, you know, this is a situation that you're just going to have to deal with. But I do feel you're able to deal with it. Ultimately, you're able to deal with it. Okay. Keep in mind, what is it that you want? What is your wish fulfillment? Take that back. Own your power. So let's see what the farewell message is here. I honor how I want to feel. These two cards go hand in hand, Scorpio. I honor how I want to feel by taking back what I want and owning it as mine and acknowledging that this particular situation, this particular relationship was not that. It did not meet the standards of what you truly want in terms of your own wish fulfillment and dream come true in terms of an ideal relationship. And while that is disappointing, it is good to acknowledge that now because it puts you back on track of honoring how you want to actually feel. And when you get to that point, you'll realize that how you felt in this relationship, Scorpio, is not at all how you wanted to feel. Okay, Scorpios, I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please take a moment to leave me a comment. Let me know. Also, share this with other Scorpios who you might know uh, in case the message needs to be delivered to them. And also, just take a moment, give the video a thumbs up. That helps to spread the video on YouTube so it can reach more people who might be trying to find answers that this reading can't acknowledge for them. So, I will see you guys again soon. Please go, if you haven't seen some of the more recent videos that aren't tarot readings but are just videos of me talking uh, please go watch those uh, hang out with me there i'm trying to just let you guys get to know me a little bit better beyond the person who reads your cards and uh, i hope that you enjoy those as well i will see you guys soon take care of yourselves bye scorpio